for, we're going to start off with Joshua and Ruiz. Mm -hmm. Is he crazy for even bringing that up? Because I know some people in the legal world, they said that a judge, any judge in the world will look at that and say, come off those belts or take your ass to the UK. Is that about it's how not, it goes? It's not even the belts. It's it's the contractual obligation that Andy Ruiz has to take to, to fight a rematch. I mean, you know, he was given the opportunity to fight for a world title. Let's be honest, out of nowhere. We picked him off a list, right? So have the respect to honour what you agreed. Do you know what I mean? Which he will, by the way. And I have absolutely no doubt that he will. Andy Ruiz is a good guy. He's a stand-up guy. He's an honourable man. But he has got people in his ear saying, oh, don't do this, blah, blah, blah. So, but again, everybody that signed that contract are aware of their obligations. Um, I do believe the fight will take place in, on December 14th in Cardiff. We will have to see if that's finalised, but it will be finalised very soon. How much do you think that would be an advantage for Joshua being more on familiar home turf? Well, might be an North advantage, might be a, might be a disadvantage, having more pressure. You know, I mean, he just fought Andy Ruiz in his country, right, in the US. I know he's of Mexican descent, but he, he's born and lives in the US. So this time he's going to fight him in the UK. Now there will be the added pressure of the people. For me, there's actually less pressure to do the fight at Madison Square Garden. You go back there, you know. See the crown. Yeah, but if you lose, you say, well, I probably should have gone to England, and you go back and you have a fight in England. If you lose in England, it ain't great, you know? So I think there's actually added pressure on Joshua doing it in the UK. I just think it's the decision of the training team to say, do you know what, uh, you know, this is probably where you should do this fight. Do you, you think he make, needs to make any changes within his camp, trainers, that's, that's, anything? That's for him and Rob McCracken to look at. I mean, that, those guys are joining the hip. You know, they've been together from his amateur days. They'll be together for the rest of his career. Joshua knows that he has to adapt. You know, we don't know in that fight, was it strategy? Was it mindset? Was it confidence? Was it, I don't know, all these different things. Was it just taking him too lightly? Probably a mixture of everything, really. But he's a different animal in this fight. I know that even talking to him. He wasn't up for that first fight. Everybody was saying to him, oh, when you beat this guy, yeah. so when are you going to fight Wilder? It's like, yeah, I've got to take care of Reese first. Well, obviously you're going to take care of Reese. So he puts him down, he you gets people, up and he's just... You know, people sleeping on that fact that he put him on his ass. I know, I know, I know. And, and Andy Reese got hit by a right hand when he got up that would have that would have shook most trees. You know, So Reese has got a good chin. But Reese gambled. He took the chance and he deserved credit for that. He won. He was the better man on the night, you know? Are you still in shock a month and a half later from what you Not saw? Not really, because nothing surprises me in boxing, you know? So, uh, yeah. No, I mean, you see everything. So, I, I, I never rule out AJ losing. Like, he's learning. So, he's not the finished article in heavyweight boxing. And I knew Ruiz is a good fighter. That's why we took the fight, because he wanted a real fight. You know, we wanted to give the fans a real fight. Unfortunately, we should have taken an easy fight, but <laughs> you've got to win a rematch. What do you think about the Wilder Fury and all that shaking out and them fighting each other I in February? Nothing, I think nothing's guaranteed, you know. I mean, you can see someone might lose a fight coming up. Um, I like the fight. I like Fury. I like Wilder. I think they're great for the division. I think right now there's at least 10 heavyweights that can all beat each other, which I think is brilliant for the division. And, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see that fight. Maybe, if it happens, and when, and maybe next year. What's the fight that has to happen in 2020 in that, in that division? That has to happen? In the heavyweight division? Yeah, heavyweight. But well, it all depends, doesn't it? If Joshua beats Ruiz, then he's got to fight Wilder for the undisputed. You know, I mean, if Ruiz beats Joshua, probably he'll fight Wilder for the undisputed. You know? Usyk's coming in. You know? So, I think uh, there's so many great fights. So many great fights we made in that division.